Hey everyone, I'm Kripoff, and I'm here today with a quick look at this week's Iron Banner Vendor Old Weapons. You can purchase these weapons from Lord Saladin in the Tower for Iron Banner tokens after completing the appropriate bounties to unlock them. First, we have the Talons of the Eagle Kinetic Scout Rifle. This weapon fires 150 rounds per minute and belongs to the High Impact Frame family of scouts. That makes it a slower, harder hitting weapon that's more accurate when you stand still and aim down sights. This weapon's vendor roll comes with the following perks. For barrel perks, we have a choice between polygonal rifling, increasing stability and extended barrel, improving the weapon's range and lowering its stability while moderately controlling its recoil. Console players will likely want to go with polygonal rifling for that boost of stability. PC players should choose extended barrel to prevent damage drop off at longer ranges and for that extra bullet magnetism. For magazine perks, we have a pendant mag, putting more rounds in the magazine, or drop mag, which wastes any ammunition remaining in the magazine when you reload while greatly increasing the weapon's reload speed. I suggest going with the pendant mag here, as this roll comes with outlaw, granting greatly reduced reload speed after landing a precision kill. The improved reload speed from drop mag would be redundant as long as you're landing headshots. A pendant mag also synergizes very well with the fourth perk on this weapon, Rampage. Kills with this weapon grant you bonus damage, stacking up to three times. The talents of the Eagle can 3-tap Guardians in PvP, doing 68 damage to the head and 39 damage to the body. Rampage x1 brings your crit damage up to 74, with x2 bumping it up to 82. Unfortunately, I was unable to test weapon damage with Rampage x3 against players in PvP. I'm using Gambit Invasion videos for this review for two reasons. The first is the grenade spam in the Crucible from the Revelry event makes doing a traditional PvP review impossible. The second reason is I think scout rifles are great weapons for invaders tired of using machine guns, or if your blueberries on your gambit team keep taking all the heavy ammo. Moving on to the Roar of the Bear Solar Rocket Launcher. This heavy weapon fires 15 rounds per minute and comes with one round in the tube. It's also in the high impact frame of weapons, giving it an impressive blast radius rating. For perks, we start with a choice between hard launch for improved velocity and decreased stability and blast radius, or smart drift control for better stability, handling speed, and velocity. I personally recommend using hard launch, since you can only fire one rocket before reloading and stability is a non-issue. For ammo perks, we have high velocity rounds for better velocity and reload speed, or black powder for an even greater blast radius at the cost of some stability. The bear already hits hard enough for my taste, so that means I'm going to go with hard launch to get my rockets to their targets even faster. For our final perks, we have snapshot sights with significantly faster ADS speeds and auto loading holster. Snapshot sights is a great perk for primary and some special weapons, but it's kind of meh on a rocket launcher. I would rather have something like tracking module, which is also found in this perk column. Auto-loading holster is a fine perk on rocket launchers, but again, you have better options. I would try to get one with rangefinder to give your rockets even more velocity when fired aiming down sights. That's it for today's quick reviews everyone. I hope you found this video helpful, and I wish you the best of luck in the crucible. It's a little nutty in there right now with all the grenades and ability spam. Make the best of it that you can, and I hope you have a great day.